name's Aaron. I'm here with Exterior Pro Roofing. We're in our shop in Indiana. And in this video, I'm going to explain a little bit about a couple of methods of attachment for flat roofing membranes. There's two main methods that we're going to cover in this video. One is fully adhered, which means glue down. So we're going to take glue and glue something down. And the other is mechanically attached. Mechanically attached means we're going to take and screw something down. We're going to use screws and plates. All right, so most people understand the idea of gluing a rubberized roofing membrane down. So here I've got a big roller. Most people understand the idea of dunking this big roller in glue. You, you, you take your glue, you spread it out, right? You take your flat roofing membrane, and you kind of take your membrane. After the glue's out, you feather your, you feather your membrane into your glue. Right, you roll it out, and it's stuck down. Most people kind of have a good idea about how you would glue a membrane down. But what I find is very few people have an idea about how you would screw a membrane down. Okay, So it's the, it's the other attachment method that I was saying about, mechanically attached. Mechanically attached is the screws and plates. So what I've got here, I've already got this particular membrane screwed down to the metal deck. So if you look real close here, you can see about every 12 inches I've got a screw and a plate. Now what this means is I don't have to glue so this sheet's about every five foot. So for a mechanically attached system, I can run a row of fasteners. Right? I can screw down on the edge of the sheet. About, and the sheet's about five foot. So every five foot I'm going. And I don't have to use the glue. Right? So then when it comes time to for my next sheet, which you can see up here, I've got, a, I've got a partial already kicked out for you. I've already got this sheet already screwed down. So I would have another line of fasteners. And I left myself a six inch overlap here to, to make a seam. And that seam is going to be made with a hot air welder. So if you can see this whole, this part of this sheet, there's no glue in this method of attachment. It's all screwed down. So I've got screws in the end of it. And then this sheet is going to weld to this sheet where the screws and plates are. And that is going to continue all the way up. This is called mechanically attaching a roof. Okay. So why would you want to do a mechanically attached roof? Mechanically attached roofs, don't rely on glue. So you're going to save the cost of the glue. But not only that, you're also going to save the cost of the cover board. You have to have a cover board to glue the membrane down. So now we don't necessarily need the cover board. You can have one in a mechanically attached system, but you don't need one like you do in a fully adhered system. And the third thing that a mechanically attached system will do for you, it'll give you a larger roofing window. So we need the glues to be around the 50 degree mark, maybe high 40s, low 50s. But with mechanically attached roofing, you extend your roofing season, right, and you can roof in colder temperatures. The seams don't rely on glue or caulking, so that is all done with hot air. So that can weld maybe down in the 20s, down in the 30s. It can be very cold, and you can still keep roofing. And probably the fourth thing, uh, why you would do mechanically attached roofing over fully adhered is that the cost savings. So you save the cost of the material, the, the glue, the cover board. You can roof in a longer window. but you also have a much faster application uh, rate. So you can install much more roofing in a day uh, going mechanically attached than you can going fully adhered. And that's the big difference. One's glued down, one's screwed down. We do a lot of them both, but there are some clear advantages to a mechanically attached roof.